Today, I will explain improved Euler method for solving first order differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x y with initial condition y of x naught equal to y naught. In the last lecture, I had explained Euler method. Using Euler method, we found values of the solution at equidistant points on the x axis. You know that it is a step by step method in which we use the same formula for finding the solution in each step. But in Euler method, the error in the value increases as the number of interval increases. Also, the error is very significant if h is not small. But there are some other methods which can give more accurate value than Euler method. One is one such method is improved Euler method. Actually it is a predictor character method. So by predictor character method we mean that in each step we compute two values. One is called predictor value and the second one is called corrector value. So that means we will be predicting the value of the solution by using one formula and then correcting the value by using another formula. So now here you can see the predictor formula is written. So usually you will be representing the predictor formula by y n plus 1 star. Its meaning is predictor value for y of x n plus 1. That is same as the formula given by Euler method. So y n plus 1 star is equal to y n plus h f of x n y n is the predictor value for y of x n plus 1. After obtaining this, we will be correcting this by using the corrector formula that will be represented by y of n plus 1. So, this is y of n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h by 2 into f of x n y n plus f of x n plus 1 comma y n plus 1 star. That means, average of the function at the point x n y n and the value of the function at x n plus 1 y n plus 1 star. Using this, we evaluate this y n plus 1. So, in a problem, so first of all, you have to identify the value for f of x y and you have to write down x naught and you have to find out y naught and now then you decide the value of h. After that, we will be writing the predictor and corrector formula and then for finding the value for y 1, you know that x 1 is x naught plus h and then using the predictor formula we will find out y 1 star. So, this is the predictor formula. So, y 1 star you will get it by giving n equal to 0. So, y 1 star is equal to y naught plus h f of x naught y naught. Using that we will be evaluating y 1 star and then you can find out y 1 by using this formula. So, y 1 will be y naught plus h by 2 into f of x naught y naught plus f of x 1 y 1 star. So, after obtaining x 1 then x 1 and y 1 you can find out y 2. y 2 means value of the function at x 2. So, x 2 is x 1 plus h and then you can write down the formula for y 2 star and y 2 from these two by giving n is equal to 1. So, when you give n equal to 1 you will get y 2 star equal to y 1 plus h f of x 1 y 1 and y 2 will be equal to y 1 plus h by 2 into f of x 1 y 1 plus f of x 2 y 2 star 
and then continue this process till you get the answer. I will explain this method by explaining one problem. So, you consider this question. So, apply the improved Euler method to solve the problem y dash is equal to y plus x y 0 equal to 0 for x is equal to 1 by taking h is equal to 0 0.2. So, now first of all you write down the given values in the question. So, first of all you write down f of x y. So, f of x y is value of d y by d x that is y plus x here. So, this is y plus x is written and then write down the value of x naught and y naught. So, it is given y of 0 equal to 0 therefore, the 0 is x naught and y naught is also equal to 0. So, you write down x naught y naught and h is given as 0 0.2. Now, first you evaluate x 1. So, x 1 is x naught plus h. So, here x naught is 0, h is 0 0.2 therefore, x 1 is 0 0.2. Next you find out y 1 star. So, this is the formula. So, y 1 star I had explained it before. So, write down the formula y naught plus h f of x naught y naught. So, then here x naught y naught is 0 0. So, in this f of x y you substitute x naught y naught that is 0 0 that you will get 0 plus 0 that is 0. Now, evaluate y 1 star after that evaluate y 1. y 1 is write down the formula you substitute the value for y naught h f of x naught y naught and f of x 1 y 1 star. That means, you substitute for evaluating this term you substitute x 1 is equal to 0 0.2 and substitute y 1 star equal to 0 then simplifying you will get 0 0.02. Actually, this is the value of the function at x 1 is equal to 0 0.2. So, now the question is to find out the value at the value x is equal to 0 0.1. At this step, you got value of the function only at x is equal to 0 0.2. You have to reach up to 1. So, then you find out the next x value. So, then x 2 will be equal to x 1 plus h that is equal to 0 0.4. So, again find out predicted value for y of x 2 and corrected value for y of x 2. So, these are the formula y 2 star evaluate this one 0 0.064 and corrected value write down the formula and find out the value. So, you will get like this. So, then y 2 means value of y at x 2 x 2 is 0 0.4. So, you got value of y at 0.4, it is 0 0.0884, but you have to find out this, uh, this value for x is equal to 0 0.1. So, go for the next step, calculate x 3 that is 0 0.6, that is x 2 plus h 0 0.6, then find out y 3 star. So, then from this general formula you write down y 3 star, y 3 star is y 2 plus h f of x 2 y 2 that is written evaluate you will get the answer. Then corrected value for y of x 2 this is the corrected formula. So, y of 2 will be equal to sorry y of 3 equal to y of 2 plus h by 2 f of x 2 y 2 plus f of x 3 y 3 star. You substitute and evaluate that one. So, you got a value of y 3 that is 0 0.21585 that is the value of y at x 3 is equal to 0 0.6. Now, then repeat this procedure for x 4 is equal to 0 0.8, you got y 4 star y 4 and x 5 is 1, you got y 5 star and y 5. Actually, this y 5 is the value of y at x 5. So, you got value of y at x is equal to 1, that is y of 1 is equal to 0 0.70. So, then in each step you have to repeat the same step which includes two formulas till you get the final answer, but in some problems 
it is better you take h as 0.1. So, here I had explained that uh, given some two exercise problems also, you try these two questions. In the first one, you take h is equal to 0 0.1 and again here one trigonometric function is there sin of x. Here x is a radian measure. So, when you use your calculator, you always keep your calculator in radian mode. Otherwise, you will get wrong answer only. And now, in the second question, you try this one with h is equal to 0 0.1. You have to obtain y of 0 0.5. That means, it is a 5 step problem. So, because x naught is 0. So, then you have to find out y of 0 0.5. So, you will get answer in 5 steps. But in the first problem uh, that uh, x naught is 0 0.2 and sorry x naught is 0 and you have to find out y of 0 0.2 by taking h is equal to 0 0.1 that means in two steps you will get answer. Thank you.